Hey guys, this is for everybody who is interested in fostering puppies. I've had a, several questions about how we do our setup here, so I'm just going to do a really quick video here on a rundown of efficient um, puppy keeping here, how we've been doing it. So we have litter box trained this um, round of puppies and it's worked out really nicely. So we use right here, this is um, just, I think Marth is the name of the brand name. It is pine pellets. It is pure, 100% natural, soft wood uh, pellet bedding. It's usually for horses. Um, it works great. Uh, even if they chew on it, it really can't hurt them. But generally speaking, um, works really good. You just do not want to use any cat litters or anything that clumps or anything like that. They'll make them sick. So, and you want to keep little puppies safe and happy there. Um, really cuts down on your cleaning time. So, that um, recycling bin there is filled with it. Here's my little cleaning station here. I keep a box of gloves, paper towel roll, a uh, litter scoop, a uh, little brush pan, cheap little set. I got that at Walmart for like a buck ninety-seven or something like that. And then um, a little scraper. It's actually like a putty scraper because sometimes if you're a little late to get into the poo on the floor and it's a little dried up or something like that, it's really nice. Even if it's not dry, it's a little, but they've stepped in it or something like that, it's really easy to scrape that up. Anyhow, so here is the basic pen enclosure. We have a litter of 10 in this setup, and it is a 4x6 um, panel system. We've added a couple of short panels on this side here um, that were from a different paneling system. Really easy for nice when you're like putting things over the side. Um, for really big guys, that won't really work well, but you know, huh. For my crew, it's been, it's been good, and they're pretty great puppies. So this is a pool blanket from the pit stop. Obviously, those uh, need to be returned. Uh, we're up, we're up quite far a bit of ways away from the pit stop, so uh, it'll be returned on our next trip down, but in the meantime, I'm going to use it. So obviously, they've got some toys in here to play with. We keep a mix of soft and rope and, and then like silicone-based toys. Um, all my silicone ones are being washed right now. Um, we just went to a puppy event and silicone ones are nice for that. So I do keep a few, uh, quite a few of these. These are um, key ring uh, clips and you can see them around the cage, uh, everywhere around the cage. But I uh, key ring clip toys to them and the puppies tug against the, ke the paneling. So I keep a set of those all around the kennel and then as toys get washed and cleaned, I clip them back on. So then we use, uh, these are actually one gallon baby pig waterers, and it's better to see from this angle here. This, we've put a paneling um, between here and here, and then a paneling there. That way this kind of blocks in this area, they can't jump over here, they can't push waterers over, they don't poo or pee, po pee over here, and just the lip of the waterers are out for them to get over to. Um, and these are really easy to slide back and lift up, and so that's a really good, that's been working well for them. Um, way less water messes. So this is a big, this is actually like a super pet, like a small animal critter, um, the base of a cage setup for like a rabbit or a guinea pig or something like that. Perfect size for a litter of 10. They can get in there, they can turn around, they can do their business. Uh, all of them poop and pee in here, they are litter box trained exclusively. And they're um, seven weeks right now, so they were litter box trained at five weeks. Only one of my ten was a little late to the to the party, but they got it. So other than that, this is the vinyl from the pit stop that they provided. Um, you keep that down, and that protects your floors. They are messy, so we actually just picked up free cardboard from um, Aldi's. And if they bite it, they shred it, it's fine. But those are uh, the water between their water cases at Aldi's, and they'll save them for you. Um, so we just lined that over here and here in the potty area, and that really defines kind of a cardboard, uh, defines the look over there for the potty, so they actually get used to it. Um, and so, yeah, this is the typical setup for a puppy. Um, and we have 10 in this one. It's not that hard to do this many puppies. It's a little overwhelming sounding. But, um, yeah. And they literally go running down the hallway to go eat in the kitchen when they're, they're so excited to get out and play in the kitchen. We block it off. And so this is a really good setup. If anybody else is interested in doing puppy fostering, I know we have a lot of mamas that are coming in. We got a lot of litters. 
you guys, they, they're, um, they're actually a lot of fun. You get to learn their personalities or a good time. So with the litter box, that really helps keep uh, cleaning down to a minimum. These are actually the giant rolls of paper towels. Uh, not paper towels, sorry. Uh, newspapers that are at the pit stop. You can get those too and cover the floor with that. But um, we litter box trained. So these are actually the original rolls that they sent me home with. Um, and I still haven't used them. <laughs> so I only use the half a roll. So that's a lot less waste in my opinion. So... And it, as for uh, telling your future adoptees, when you get this litter box, um, these pine pellets, you guys, they are just literally like compressed pine. So they, as they get wet, they start really breaking down really easy and they get really like sawdusty. Super easy to scoop out with a little um, uh, regular cat litter scoop. And, you, you know, when it's really easy to train them, potty train them to go outside because you just put those outside and they know a familiar scent. And they potty in that same spot in the yard. So it's super easy to train them with that. And you can send home a little bit of those pine pellets with your adoptees, you know, to the adoptee homes. But um, literally this big bag, it's a 40-pound bag with a litter of 10. I'm going through it quite a bit. Uh, probably one bag every maybe four days. But with a litter of 10, that, that's going to go fast. Any smaller litters, you're, it's not going to be a bigger problem. Any little beady dogs, you're not going to have a problem at all But of uh, going through that too fast. But 6 bucks at the feed store at Feasons is where I pick it up. And it's 6 bucks, and it lasts a good bit. You know, litter of 10, it's kind of going fast, but that's okay. So, and then the pig waters, I think they're about 12, maybe 13 a piece. They're uh, worth it, in my opinion. You can't secure those metal brackets on the back end of them, but... Uh, it's, we find it easier to do this way. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, you guys, please, if you're willing to try doing a litter, uh, let somebody know. You know, let Amy know. It's always fun to to stretch your um, fostering capabilities and see what you can handle. And, and there's a ton of support, you guys, for if you're just nervous about not having support and getting help all the way through. There's specifically support just for the fosters who take on mamas and their puppies. So, um, I encourage you guys to give it a try. You know, reach out to one of us who have already done it, and it's a lot of fun. Get to see their dynamic little personalities. Okay, you guys have a good day, and, uh, you know, happy adoptions. We just had our crew go to an event today, so hopefully everybody gets adopted soon. Um, they'll be eight weeks Monday, so, yeah. Okay, you guys have a good day, and keep being great.